how you've seen how both blenders make the smoothie. Now we're going to show you how they make a delicious hummus recipe. What do you reckon? Absolutely, because there are recipes for snacks like this mm. in the book that comes with the Nutribullet. So we want to see how it stands up against the Optimum being that there's no tamper or any mixing device mm. in there. So let's have a little bit of a peek. Once again, to get the ingredients for the hummus into a Nutribullet, we actually have to use this large cup. I, act I have no idea, Rory, what would you use such a small cup for? Grinding coffee? Grinding coffee would be great, but yeah, I just think for smoothies, dips, all those things that um, the Nutribullet is known for, mm. certainly you end up with only one cup mm. without having very, to buy extra. Very small serves, and, and often people will be hungry afterwards as well. Absolutely. So I've just popped the um, chickpeas in the bottom here. We've got some almond oil. We've also got some tahini, it's a little bit of a variation on the normal hummus recipe of mine. Pop in some Himalayan rock salt there, and then we're going to squeeze in some l lime juice in this particular hummus. And Rory, you can use your muscles. I'll oh. just use the squeezing tool here. No probs. And I think I might just do half because that was quite a big lime. So we've got all the ingredients required in the bottom there. I'm going to screw the top on and uh, turn it upside down, hoping that all the ingredients come down. Now I did use a little bit of technique, hoping that that sticky ingredient would actually be underneath the chickpeas. That's where I placed it, but it has stuck down the side, so I'm concerned about how that will get mm. mixed um, there. And that's something you need to think about. With the Optimum, you can pop everything and use your tamper mm. to mix things up, whereas with a, a blender like this, you know, I, I lay it even correctly and, it, and it's still mixed up and stuck to the side. So, mm. you ready to rock? Ready to rock. Same time, let's Same go. Time. <laughs> So Rory's blending away over there and I've had to stop because in the Nutribullet, none of the beans on top are starting to turn through. I'm actually going to have to stop and give it a stir so we can continue on there. We'll give it a one stir and pop it back together and we'll blend again for the same length of time see what happens. Well, yours looks like it's pretty good. pretty good. This one stopped mixing altogether. I've had to stop and scrape it down once. And then uh, if we have a look inside, let's pop it in a bowl and see what we've come up with. Mm. We've got such a difference and such a comparison between the two. Um, the 9400 with the bigger jar gives you so much, so many more options, so much more choice when it comes to creating your food. We see on the Nutribullet ads, you know, that it's going to blast you with all of those beautiful smoothies and, and, you know, getting all those nutrients out. But from what I'm seeing here, this is quite a chunky style hummus. And of course, I couldn't get much in there at all. Rory, how's yours going? Oh, it looks beautiful, Zane. So I think what we'll do is give you a close-up and you guys can make a choice. Well, we've taken everything out of the jugs and popped it in the bowls. You've seen it close up. One is smooth, one is chunky. We could have kept going in the 9400 because we had the tamper option. Mm. We've got you know, as I've mentioned before, so many options in a high-speed blender like that and not so many here. And my biggest concern is the longevity of the mm. blender. The O-rings, the motor, it's just not going to keep up with that kind of a recipe. But let's taste it and see how it worked out. I am excited. This is my favourite part. Mm. Well, that's really chunky. You can actually taste the whole chickpeas. Still inside there. Mmm. I'll take this one, thanks. It's just not hummus. No, look, mm. it should be smooth, it should be creamy, and that's what a great blender will do for you. Um, so we'll let you make the choice in your comparison, but thanks for joining us and ciao for now. Cheers to your health.